Namaste. In this clipping, I wish to explain about the equimarginal utility theory, wherein the marginal utilities of the product are going to be equated. That is, the consumer would wish to achieve maximum satisfaction even as a consumer is going to consume two commodities. Yeah, let us probably take up an example of a consumer consuming two products namely apples and oranges. So we know that in microeconomics there are some assumptions made. In this particular theory income is held to be constant. Price of both the commodities namely price of apple and price of orange is held to be constant. Income let us assume that to be 14 and price of apple let us assume that to be 2 and price of orange let us assume that to be 1. Also, the marginal utility of money is also held to be constant or given though in reality it keeps changing. In reality, a rich person enjoys a smaller utility for the stock of money because the stock of money is pretty high and a poor person is supposed to enjoy much higher utility for money, right? So since there are too many things that vary, to arrive at a simple model, it is only the marginal utility of apple to the ratio of price of the product, right? And the marginal utility of oranges to the price of orange that is going to be compared. Now price of apple and price of orange, they are considered to be given and constant. So the two things that vary are only going to be marginal utility of apple and marginal utility of oranges. So given the income, the consumer is going to spend on these two commodities in such a manner that it would give equal satisfaction or equal marginal utility. So let's understand how this can be depicted, this equation is going to be depicted through a table, right? So, what we would require is the units of commodities that are purchased by the consumer. Commodities, when we say, in our example, we have taken up two. One is apple, the other one is oranges. So, what are we going to compare? We are going to compare the marginal utility to the ratio of price, marginal utility of apple to the ratio of price, right? And that would be compared to the marginal utility of orange to the ratio of price of the orange. Also, since total satisfaction should be maximum is what yet another condition we would try and show a column where we are going to depict the total utility that is derived from the consumption of apples and the consumption of oranges now, having said that income is 14 so maybe the first unit of orange is going to be purchased by the consumer that is going to provide maybe 30 utils. Utils is the unit of measurement of utility. So 30 utils from uh, the first unit of consumption, right? Since this is the first unit or the initial unit, marginal utility of orange will be the same as the total utility that is derived. That will also be 30. And this one, we know price of orange is 1 and marginal utility for this is 30 so that would be 30 by 1 so 30 again maybe the consumer would like to have a change in the consumption have a different commodity so maybe the consumption of apples is going to be undertaken after this if that is the case then due to purchase of apple let us say there is going to be 25 utils yeah apple is going to cost two rupees or the price of apple is two the first rupee is already spent here on orange now subsequently the second and the third rupee is spent on 
purchase of apple and that gives 25 utils but this is the first rupee that is spent on the purchase of apple so the total utility in the case of apple will be the same as this so that is going to be say 25 and mua by pa now pa we have assumed it to be 2 so that would be 25 by 2 so that is going to be 12.5 yes so let's assume that the consumer wants to continue to consume more apples now so the next unit of apple will give some satisfaction but not the same as the first one so there will be diminishing marginal utility as more and more is going to be consumed whether it is going to be a single commodity or two commodities in both the cases the basic assumption is there is going to be a diminishing marginal utility so even as a second unit of apple is purchased let us say the marginal utility is going to be 20 right so the total utility of two apples will be 25 plus 20 so that would be 45 then let us say consumer still wants to continue with consumption of apple now the third apple will also give some satisfaction but not the same as a second one it would be lower than the second one so if it is going to be 18 utils right the two rupees that is going to be spent on the third unit of apple that is purchased gives 18 utils so totally one two and three all the three apples are going to give 25 plus 20 plus 18 so that would be 63 utils yes now maybe the consumer still wants to continue purchase of apples so let us say that is going to give 15 utils to the consumer right so all the four together all the four units of apple together would be giving 25 plus 20 plus 18 plus 15 all the four apples so the total utility in this case will be 78 yeah now already four units of apple are consumed let us say the consumer wants to change back again to the purchase of orange so how many rupees has been spent two plus two four six eight nine rupees say now the tenth rupee is going to be spent on the purchase of oranges so even as one more rupee is going to be spent on the purchase of orange the marginal utility in this case let us say is going to be 11 so one unit of orange purchase the second unit of orange purchase both together the total utility in the case of orange will be 30 plus 11 so that is going to be 41 right now let's say the consumer wants one more unit of apple and tries to purchase this fifth unit of apple and that will give some satisfaction but not the same as 11 it would be lesser than 11 because you know there is going to be a diminishing marginal utility so let's say the marginal utility is going to be 10 so the two rupees that is spent on the purchase of the fifth unit of apple most probably will give 10 utils so even as the consumer consumes five units of apples the total utility would be 78 plus 10 so that would be 88 fine so there are just how many more rupees left now 2 4 6 8 10 11 12 13 and 14 right two more rupees left out here yes so maybe one more rupee is going to be spent on the purchase of oranges so that will necessarily give lesser than this 10 right so let's say that is going to be 8 let us say that is going to be 8 utils fine so 3 oranges put together 30 plus 11 plus 8 the total utility in this case will be 49 yes then let's say the last rupee that is going to be spent on oranges fine just one more rupee left income we have assumed it to be 14 the last rupee let us say is going to be spent over here and that might give 5 utils so if that is going to give 5 utils then total utility in the case of oranges would be 30 plus 11 plus 8 plus 5 so that is going to be 54 all right yeah 
now all the money is spent over here all the money is spent over here right so let us try and check out the marginal utility that is divided by the price in each of the cases we have the details here fine let us check it out to see whether the consumer equilibrium is attained so this would be now 20 by 2 2 is the price marginal utility is 20 right 20 by 2 that is going to be 10 and 18 by 2 yeah 18 by 2 that is going to be 9 and then 15 by 2 that is going to be 7.5 10 by 2 that is going to be 5 right yeah and over here it is going to be probably 11 yes marginal utility of orange divided by the price of orange price of orange we know it is 1 so mu is 11 11 by 1 that's going to be 11 8 by 1 that's going to be 8 5 by 1 that's going to be 5 and so on right so if this is going to continue right now think of it if, if the consumer is going to spend all the income on just the apple hmm? what have we seen 25 20 18 15 10 there is a diminishing marginal utility out here yes so instead of you know alternating between apples and oranges if the consumer is going to spend all the income on the purchase of uh, apples right two four six eight ten so let's say two more here if that is going to be the case then probably the consumer might get something like four utils right so 88 plus 4 right might give 92 as a total utility fine so in this case if the consumer is going to spend one see already four units are purchased out here and that has given five so let us say one more rupee if it is going to be spent over here fine it will be a lower utility than this say four so 54 plus 4 this is going to be 58 all right and in this case look at this the marginal utility by price of uh, the commodity will be 4 by 2 and that would be 2 yeah and let us say th this is going to continue here let us just you know finish one more and check it out now say one more rupee if at all the consumer has that one more rupee if it go if it's going to be spent over here instead of you know i'm talking about the case where only oranges are purchased where nothing of the apple is going to be purchased so if that is the case then what is happening there is a diminishing marginal utility in the case of oranges fine so 30 11 8 5 4 one more rupee if it is going to be spent just here then let us say the marginal utility is going to be still lower right and the total utility will be 58 plus 3 that is going to be 61 okay and what about this this column so that will be 4 by 1 and 4 and this will be 3 by 1 and that will be 3 yes so why would a consumer go in for a variety the consumer will go in for a variety because the maximum total utility will be enjoyed that way yes so look at this 92 is going to be the total utility yes 92 is going to be the total utility yeah when 2 4 6 8 9 10 11 12 okay and let us say the consumer has some more money and that is out of 14 if the consumer is going to spend two more then lesser than this right so now this could be 94 correct yeah so 2 by and this will be 2 by 2 and 1 correct so the total utility would be 92 
total utility in the case of only apples being consumed will be 94 right now this would be much lesser if you go on you will understand already now see it is already lesser 30 11 8 5 4 3 4 oranges give lesser utility compared to the other product so let's rule that out so let us check out the total utility the consumer is going to get while both the commodities apples and oranges are going to be made use of right and what is the other main condition that we have the other main condition that we have is that the marginal utility yeah the marginal utility of a yes divided by the price of a should be equal to marginal utility of o divided by the price of o okay so where is that where is that in our table very clearly over here when the consumer is purchasing 1 2 3 4 5 5 units of apple and look at this 1 2 3 and 4 4 units of oranges fine now the price of apple into the quantity of apple plus the price of orange into the quantity of orange right should be equal to the income what is this now this is nothing but the expenditure that is exp ex total expenditure that is undertaken on the purchase of apple plus the total expenditure that is undertaken in the case of orange that should be equal to the income correct so the total expenditure over here let us check it out price of apple is 2 into the units consumed according to the table is 5 yes then total expenditure undertaken on oranges the price of orange is 1 and the units consumed is 4 correct so this is something equal to 14 yes this should be the identity is that correct so this is 10 plus this is 4 yes the entire income is equal to the expenditure yes so this is what we get also what have we gotten marginal utility of apple divided by the price of apple in this case it is 5 and that should be equal to 5 so that is what we have in this example so what are we trying to do we are trying to equate the marginal utility of both the commodities or we are trying to equate the satisfaction so the consumer is said to be in equilibrium once the satisfaction derived from both the commodities is going to be the same also check it out the total utility that the consumer is going to receive due to consumption of 5 units of apple is 88 correct yeah and due to the consumption of 4 units of 4 units of oranges is 54 fine 88 plus 54 so which is 142 which is way more than what the consumer is going to get by consuming only apples we saw if the consumer is going to spend all the income on a single commodity namely apple right so given the income which is 14 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 units of apple can be purchased and in that case the total utility is only 94 but if the consumer is going to spend the income both on apples and oranges fine there is you know 5 plus 4 commodities and look at the total utility it is 88 plus 54 which is 142 which is maximum so whether it is through the total utility or the marginal utility approach the consumer is maximizing the total satisfaction so we can say that the consumer attains maximum satisfaction in a double commodity case so the same principle can be you know extended to as many commodities as possible this might go on 
till n number of commodities right simply it can go on till n number of commodities that is consume yes so wish you have understood with this small effort of mine thank you